going to be harvesting turmeric from my garden and teaching you how to harvest, replant, um, wash, cure, and store turmeric. This is my second year to grow turmeric and it could not be an easier plant to grow. Um, this is a turmeric plant right here. Right now it is um, the beginning of December and so we've had a couple of uh, light frosts and the big beautiful green turmeric plant has died back. Um, it's frozen and everything above the ground is basically dead but the roots are still in the ground ready to harvest. You can harvest turmeric as early as um, you know a couple weeks before your first frost in the fall or right around the time of your first frost. Whenever the plant starts to turn yellow, um, get spots on the leaves, and kind of die back, that's when you want to harvest the turmeric. Um, so I'm doing it later than, um, I'm doing it a little bit later than that, but as you'll see, that's no problem at all. If you've never used or grown turmeric before, um, it is a root similar to ginger. Um, it can be dried and used as a spice, or it can be used fresh, um, and it is thought of as a medicinal plant. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory, which is very good for the body. Um, and it also has a very bright yellow color, which is used in different dyes and um, different sauces and, and things. Um, and it's got a really, a really delicious flavor. Slightly spicy and somewhat earthy, but I love to use it fresh in juices and smoothies. Um, but I'm gonna branch out and start using it in different recipes. It's a very easy plant to grow at home in an in-ground garden or in containers. Um, all you do is plant it, keep it lightly watered, um, and then I usually stop watering it and just let the rain um, be responsible for that for the rest of the summer. In my garden in um, the southern United States, in Alabama, there are no pests that have bothered my turmeric plants, uh, no diseases. It just grows all summer with very little, like no effort from me. Um, and then I get to harvest it in the fall. So I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. The first thing I'm going to do is come in with my snips and I'm going to just cut off uh, the excess, you know, leaves and things so that I just have like a short stem to work with. And I'm just going to throw the leaves and stem debris onto another part of my garden to use as a mulch um, that will break down and feed the soil. Now that I've got the plant cleaned up, um, you can see the, just the dead kind of smushy stems here, but they're still pretty firmly attached to the roots. I'm going to just get a few of these weeds out of the way. And I'm just going to kind of scrape away gently some of the soil. And you can see some of these roots exposed here and here. So I'm just gonna clear away a bit of the soil to get a good idea of where the mass of the roots are so that I don't damage any of the roots when I come in with a shovel and dig, these, dig them up. As you can see, I've exposed a lot of these roots here. So now I'm going to take a shovel and just reach down and start gently prying, prying up the entire root system.
you just gently remove as much of the dirt as you can with your fingers. And as you do this, a few pieces might break off and you can just set those aside while you deal with this massive root ball. Now you can see a lot of these roots. And you can kind of see where we've got one set of fingers here and another set of fingers on the other side. You can pry these apart. And I'm going to put all of these pieces um, in my container and um, I'm going to rinse them off. I'll show you how I do that. from one plant. Let's see how big this bucket is. Yeah. And these big beautiful roots that I will show you how to clean in just a moment. So you could plant any of these pieces here and they would grow into a new plant. Um, but all of these you know smooth uniform pieces I'm going to store um, and use. These pieces that have all of the roots coming off are the ones that I'm going to plant. From one plant, I can grow three more plants um, in addition to harvesting all this. I could grow a lot more plants if I planted these. Um, but so you can start with one plant and in a couple of years have, you know, just a ton of turmeric plants. So I've harvested all five plants now, and this is the haul. This is way more turmeric than I had last year because I only had three plants last year, and this year I had five plants, and they all seem to produce more than they did last year. Um, so in a minute, I'll show you how to wash and cure um, and talk about storing all of this. But first, I'll go ahead and show you how to plant um, the little root balls to so that they can overwinter and they will uh, start growing in the spring. So this is the part of the plant that I'm going to be replanting. Um, and where I live in zone 7B, um, I can stick these in the ground now and they will overwinter um, and in the spring when it starts warming up they will send up green shoots and they'll start growing. Um, now some climates you may not be able to plant these and overwinter them if it gets really cold and the ground actually freezes. The ground doesn't actually really freeze here. Um, yeah, the last couple of years these have been perfectly fine overwintering and they always grow again in the spring. But um, definitely look online and see if you can plant them in the fall or winter in your climate. Um, otherwise, if it's too cold and you can't overwinter them or if you just don't get around to planting them in the fall and the winter, you can store these little root balls in a uh, paper bag um, in a cool dark place. Um, I keep them in the bottom of my pantry and they um, they will just sit dormant in the paper bag um, all throughout the winter and you can they may actually start to sprout um, and you can plant them put them in the ground in the spring and they'll start to grow then so um, it really is an easy plant to grow so um, I'll go ahead and show you how to plant them. 
you really just want to um, bury this a couple of inches deep. I'll probably cover the top with two to three inches. Um, so I'll make a hole and push these into the soil and just cover them up with two to three inches. Um, make sure they're deep enough that they're covered two to three inches deep. And that's all. I'm not going to water them or anything. They, they're not going to need any care through the winter. They're just going to um, be dormant pretty much and they will sprout in the spring. hose pipe to spray these off. You don't want to scrub them at this point. You really just want to get as much of the dirt off as possible. So after this, I'll probably take them inside and rinse them off a little bit more in my kitchen sink. And then you will need to cure them. And curing just means really letting them dry for a couple of days before you store them. That makes them store longer. I can get it outside with a hose pipe. Um, now I'll take it into the kitchen and probably use a strainer and just do small batches uh, in my kitchen sink. Just rinse them off and get as much of the dirt off as possible. You can't get all the dirt off. That's not a problem. Dirt is actually good for you. <laughs> but um, um, once you are satisfied with how clean your turmeric is, you want to lay it out on, on, your, on your counter or a table, um, on some towels or paper towels, um, kitchen towels um, work well. Um, and you just want to cure it on the towels for about a week. Um, during that week, um, the surface of the turmeric is going to dry out and it's going to, the skin is going to actually like toughen a little bit. Um, and in that state, it is going to store very well. Um, I stored mine just in the bottom drawer of my refrigerator last year after I harvested it. I stored it in the refrigerator for months. Um, I, it was still, it was still perfectly fine. It wasn't going bad or anything stored in the fridge. I was using it fresh um, until I used it all up. So you can store it in the fridge for months. Um, you can also freeze it. Um, I've also heard that you can store it in a big container of sand. Um, just, just plain sand in a bucket or a container. You could just make sure the turmeric is covered and I'm not exactly sure how long it stores in that state, but I'd be willing to bet that it would store for, you know, six months or so. Um, and it can also be dried in a dehydrator um, or even in the oven at a low setting. And once it's dried, it can be ground and stored um, in airtight containers. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video, today's video on harvesting turmeric and everything you need to do with it after it's harvested. I really hope that you give turmeric a try. Um, it really is very simple to grow and it's really good for you. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Subscribing to my channel is the best way to support me on my gardening journey of learning and uh, experimenting and um, trying to make the world a better place. So um, thank you so much for watching this video and happy growing.